Yes, Fambula, I want to welcome back to yet another very important segment where they come through the Talking Point platform. My name is Mohamed Kabo. We get too many issues then for calm, discourse, and analyze when a very, very important issues then. The first one for us, the APC don't want ECSA. Now, they can back up with some evidence and some suggestions and personal opinion about what in neck they try to do. The reason why make we try to calm again with this program right now, now because we don't follow the pattern. We election, but all the elections are going to saloon. Perhaps it's not one of the most critical elections we will ever, ever, ever long against. The reason is very simple. Because at the first and this, as far as me understand, the neck officials in the Como plainly in favor of the ruling party. Now, the first thing this, me, they see this. You know, ever happened for what me understand. And secondly, the backlash of Gento, Mohamed Gento Kamara, the APC and the SLPP aspirants for the mayor of seats. The Labour Congress don't pull a statement, they don't pull a press release, so don't, they don't condemn her. The Interreligious Council of Salon, the body were responsible, we combine all the religion and the country. They don't want, they don't pull a press release. And sludge, the Sierra Leone Association of Journalists, they said don't do the same. So now they are, now then two tea I will get for can deliberate on. You say get the opportunity for January. Now, no go no side, what they can shortly and can you know their analysis here quickly. Talking point platform. For news every day, now we can't Education, if you entertain, maybe political affairs, chin TV. We've got enough tanga one inside Sierra Leone, like a big quantity. We breeze not the shit TV. So, from we we go straight to the points now. If we not follow we program there, we not say we don't manage. For come up with some evidence there, some issues there where it relates to uh, the ECSL, the handling about uh, the handling of we election. Now today, the opposition, the APC, National Publicity Secretary, now radio, uh, radio democracy, therefore put some very strong words where it make and clear say the word where. ECSL, they take so they no get for acceptor at all, at all. Because one, it unconstitutional. Secondly, it is against the laws of even the EC, uh, even the, the electoral commission laws where EC, ECSL for guide. Now, let bring come what you say quickly. Though we come with your analysis quickly. Let we see if we able to play this. Not play. Not count them for now quickly. Now take a program. Now, good morning, Salon. We can see from ninety eight point one FM. The National Publicity Secretary for the All People's Congress APC Party, Sidia Tunis, me they talk to Mange Mansari inside our interview day for Sika then concern on the tally of election results. Them the districts them they against section 51 of the Public Elections Act of 2022. He talk this inside one interview with Radio Democracy. We say even they talk about the statement where the ECSL talk say they no go tally the election results now the district's level but then go do them national level they talk more inside this interview with Mange Mansari well in the first place uh we kind of shock we get members the way they go now the PPLC meeting political party liaison committee meeting you know working mostly held on Wednesdays every other Wednesday or every two weeks and the team we go, they say the Electoral Commission has sought, make a pronouncement, say, after they don't uh, do the counting as stations them, the results they go in a region for due tally, and then they forward on to the National Returning Officer. 
We not only do speak vehemently against this because we know say it is in contravention of neck then you accept self where section fifty one say when the polls don't close, then they count the results at the stations, then certify the results, then publish them. That results they will be forwarded to the district elections officer, the district returning officer. We in self in the presence of all the political parties that we contest, go certify the results that we come out now all the stations that are in constituencies now the district, certify the results at district level, then publish them and then they forward them at the regional tally center, outside the regional returning officer go do the same. In self go certify the results and we come on at the district. Then in front of all political parties, they certify their results and they, they make sure say error or not, they make sure everybody agree before they publish and then insert send an out to the national returning officer, whether the chief electoral commissioner, we insert go verify in the presence of political parties before final uh, announcement is made. Okay, so, so more we look at uh, this process where you explain, the no one for do the tallying at the state, in the can at the regional state. You feel, say, it get effect to the election, to well, the counting process. Well, first of all, a violation, it is in contravention of this, the, the provisions of the Elections Act of 2022, when I neck them, accept self. That and one. Two, it also lead to unnecessary political tension and mistrust. Because first of all, you don't get any reason for, you know, skip a very important step. Whether the district tallying and district verification of results then where they come on at stations and where they come on across constituencies now you district. The district returning officer, you know, the law gear and the power for verify results with the common at the stations then in the presence of political parties verify their results and they certify the results then publish them before it forward them to the regional returning officer why neck in the middle less than 90 days to elections why make neck one for skip this very important part of the elections process we clearly stipulated now the laws of the elections laws. Why? Waiting at the reason. Why make the one for do this? Why Commission and South make that pronouncement? Waiting at the reason for that. You don't, um, they ask question now. You see, why, why is CSL one for two? When I don't actually approach them and, and talk to them for better than justification for that day. Well, they're not getting any justification. They're not giving any, and we don't need any because we, they demand that we go strictly by the law go strictly by the act that is how it has always been done and we therefore insist and with the demand that we continue for doing that way they will not get for accept any other way especially we say we clearly the cc it in contravention of the laws it in contravention of the act we not get for accept that one because we not get time for allow them for manipulate anything we go at the end of the day go make the process not credible and not acceptable and we go lead to chaos so what in this mean for me neck then violate the new law well always don't they argue with neck on so many things and we don't see how in so on so many instances they don't you know go against their own whether or not the strategic plan whether or not some provisions within the act where then they go against then get a reason why then they do that but a very clear that they want for be manipulated and we as a party we always they insist on few things one stick by the law obey the law follow the act and make sure say the process free fair credible and acceptable you know and the will of the people must be heard and must be reflected and that our position so any sign where we see say go go against our one day we go stand against them and we go vehemently vehemently speak against them and we not go accept and whatever happened all the elections that we don't do you know especially since the existence of the neck the ecsl act whether or not 2012 whether or not the elections act of um, you know 2022 and even 2007 elections then go through the same process you get the district returning officers them certify results after the results in common at the stations then you get the regional returning officers they certify before it come 
to the national returning officer. And at that, the law say, and at that don't always happen. But we, we, they see, we they get sick and tired of this electoral commission. Always they try for manipulate and for change things. We they get sick and tired. Neck for enjoy some autonomy, but they're not entirely independent. Now that make we get elections management bodies. We electoral law is such that the law one for ensure say transparency, day accountability, day and trust day. Now that make then compel the neck. Certain things then they will they want for do, certain things then they will then they do, then for ensure say members of elections management bodies present, including political parties, civil society, and even under the media. Well, that's not the... Yeah, so FAMU, I don't get uh, the clear message from, from the National Publicity Secretary, when uh, Eunice. Um, the point is, this very gentleman, when they talk, say, them for do this, I want to play, uh, I want to share for now uh, a clip. This clip, Boku 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 But this same guy, we say then are the FK, they don't get for be intimidated by international community, then they force them for regime change. This not the guy with police idea. When if you if you join the dots, you join the, the, the puzzle, it means this particular idea, mechanism, everything, the strategy, this plan, it will lead to something where if we not be if we not if we not sensitize with people, let me understand. We we'll not put this team out there. Let people uh, 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 um, do self awakening For let at least we voice them be heard strong, strongly. It will come to a time where perhaps it will late for the people of Sierra Leone. Listen, the Edmond Sylvester, the strategic, the, the operation manager, the operation officer, na neck where he get powers for. Um, and all votes, low, low, I want to share, I want to talk for himself instead of me paraphrase for her. Let's share this for now quickly. Subscribe now free. Plenty of people over the watch here. They know they subscribe because someone feels safe for subscribe. Police, they need for pay money. <laughs> if you not be known for no one say for subscribe now free. But why for subscribe? If for subscribe for three main reason. Number one. You go be the first post we go know whenever we come on live. Number two, you go be the first post we go know whenever we upload new video. And number three, you go be the first person for comments, like or share. And the last one for support we so we go bring kind and content here regularly to you. So you see how it's beneficial to you. So if you don't subscribe it, what you do it? I for subscribe to TPP Leo now. And before I forget, not forget for click the notification bell so you go get all the notification bam. Uh, and I always tell my colleague brothers and sisters that they are they cannot threaten us. We are not going to be threatened. I'm speaking the words of the commission, the name on Shigeru, on Tinted, it's a 16 and very far in our commitment to conduct the support of the community. We've been receiving threats in this court. There are many instances we know names have been listed for execution. We may names have been listed for raping. We know of all of these issues. There were instances why the chair was in the hot seat. Somebody was saying that we do not make a party to win, they will resort to the Shiraz Casinari. I told the person we are ready. Gone are those days in this country when somebody points a gun at you, you give your back to go to the bush. We are ready to place it here. I'm talking within the context of DCSL and a less Iranian. In office, in office, in this country, you cannot grab power by force. If I know me, I for me. These are the slogans people are saying to us in our vote. So I just want to give assurance that as a commission, I happen to be the oversight for operations. So definitely, I'll be managing the operations of the elections, the national election. And I want to assure this body that nobody is going to scare out. What is correct is what we are going to do for this nation. We are not serving any one political party. We are serving this country. Now, Mama Salon decide. 
I wish all the politi 17 political parties they are here to hear us. Talking about the politicians who are NS4 and colleagues, some of them are on the fair list of politicians. They are groomed to sing against the presidency. We, are, we have, that, that's our president, or whatever circumstance. But this thing has degenerated to the point that nobody is condemning, as we are all saying. Let us go beyond condemnation now. If you can recall before the August 10th scenario in this country, we were all here. And we gave intelligence that was going to happen. So I'm throwing this challenge again to UNS code and security sector. You have to step up. Enough is enough. This lot of table meetings, let people see the action. People that really say you are action oriented. You are using the force power of your as a security sector. They have been testing the waters. I've been already saying this in this meetings here. They are testing the waters. Any test, they move another level. They continue to move. They say, what do you do? Better do it. What do not say? You stop them from singing, they are still singing. And they are, the people are in the, at the background. And let me also tell you about people Christian international community. I have said there that that's that in their faces when they came here. Some of you are there. The political party will attest to that. They are very people. They will go, they make all these nice things at the background, then you hear them say something else. I can't imagine the eager ambassador of telling us when I went to the north, I saw a lot of crap. But when I went to the south, it didn't see much crap for registration. But I see that he goes high. But he knows what I, the answer I gave him by then. So some of this hypocrisy around most of our national issues to be built in the world. Let us not just sit down and say we are going to please international community. Some of them have no good intentions for us to be social. They have their hidden agendas. Some of them are pushing for regime change. If you guys don't know, let me say it. I'm an artist here, so we are the referees. But sometimes it's good for the referees to tell you what the facts are, where they have to give. We have to give yellow cards, we show you. And people are asking media to give you the cards. So that's just my home submission. I just want to ask that the security sector, we are ready to follow this election. But we depend on you for our peace, stability, and security. We are not going to remain on our, our, our various processes. As I'm just coming from one of our COT meetings. We are going to issue cards, voter uh, registration cards, to so all registered voters between the period of the 17th to the 27th of March. And that's going to continue. Nobody is going to take it off. We are going to have these elections in this country. Without me, we will not lose the laws. We let the rest be security. I thank you all. All right, and um, let me thank you. Uh... Very significant powers, as we demonstrated here. Actually, the panel. Yeah, so Fambule, when I do it for Edmond Sylvester, when I the uh, head of the oversight operations, where they talk and clearly say the international community they push for regime change, but then the neck they will resist regime change. You see, then go resist regime change, and if they call on the security forces, made them protect them in the sense that once they do announce the results then just need security. So you see the idea when neck pull now, they're not going to count the, the votes them by pulling station to pull, pulling station or they carry them go one side. We contravene even the constitution of Saloon and even the electoral laws of the country itself. So this is worrisome something. I don't know why we for say power power, if governments, come through the ballot box, we're not five years. We don't get 10, 10 years. Otherwise, not for conduct elections. We only get five years term, not in our constitution. After five years, the government for seek a fresh mandate to the people of Sierra Leone and then decide whether they fit for Gideon. It happened back then when EBK be in a power. After the first five years, he seek another five years in 2012. He asked the people and too simple, if you know I don't work, you not vote for me. But if you know I don't work, no vote for me. Simple message. But it seems as if now, this particular regime, then they go the length and breadth for make sure say, 
then win this election. Even when the people of Sierra Leone are yearning for change, they are very, very, very determined to make their voice heard on the ballot box. But we go continue for and sensitize the brothers and sisters and then see what they happen. Because if anything of the sort happen, we get evidence. Those people all go so away, oh, one count, one out. Because now one, they one count. Because if the neck officials, the neck officials, they come out playing, they support the ruling government. If somebody not worry about this, an officer again will get anything to worry about. This is not too for worry about. The neck official, the people who will entrust the responsibility for manage the affairs of the election, these people are coming out plainly. They are coming out naked in the open. They are endorsing the regime, the incumbents, the president. They are, they are praising the president. They are asking for protection. They are saying people should not even abuse the president. They are saying they are going to resist any regime change. In fact, this other guy talks, eh? Nae, you saw the bluff, Nae, at the head of the oversight operations. And a very strategic, very strategic position also, where he right, <clears throat> can even nullify the result. So they watch this space, and if a, bit, a better way, uh, a president said they pull a strong statement here, condemn neck and warn neck, say, we get laws in this country. We must go by the laws. We must, this is not a jungle. I mean, I know we are reading, but you know, the, the country be there insanity. What time for FCPP be able to succeed for win the election 2018? Not because of the transparency. The transparency we are in, the uh, the then the, the then boss, the then neck boss, ECSL boss, we get a policy of transparency. Invite political parties in, get liaison officers in for work with neck day in day out. Everything was tally, every, everything was transparent. But now this particular neck, then they make meetings there secretly, where contravene even the uh, uh, the electoral laws there, where then they call for inclusiveness. As Munadoya from the National Publicity Secretary, we talk say certain things and they take out without even informing the political parties. We no want any 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 mayhem that the country. We no want any conflict. The people of Salon then get the right for votes. Would have them say a determine and would have them say a a <clears throat> it will serve them well. And then people there, some of these officers, if we then cause any harm, we go make sure say yes. The law, the, the law, defend them to the fullest of it. I don't know why we not even think. I mean, just a few years ago, a decades ago, just two decades ago, Salon, we country, Nabi, Nabi, Nabi mess. But if a poli if a neck official was supposed to be neutral, they come out playing, they support the government of the day, it's very, very worrisome. It's very, very worrisome. I hope the international community they take stock of them, their, their, their statements here, their video there. If social media not be there, not all mango know, but because of the presence of social media, now who says it gets way for relearn to people there and let the message go fine wide so that the people there, whether the moral moral guarantors of the democracy and the country, the salon, may then take note and mark them what's there clearly. Now, now we jump go to the next one, gentle. As soon as I understand, gentle day on day, gentle day, day on or in water. water. Gentle, the mayor aspirant for SLPP, the man we want uh, become SLPP, the mayor, the uh, freedom mayor, where they where they want uh, the ticket of SLPP, it don't come under serious backlash because of in in statement where go make say Muslim men at the country, <clears throat> then they marginalize them. I mean, this is completely un unacceptable. Maybe some of them don't hear this. It. Maybe some of them, some of them don't hear it. But let's just do justice to those people who don't hear it. Uh, gentle it. Now listen to the person who will be mayor of the country. Listen now quick. But now, this position this time, who serve the matter? This is not kind of party business. This is not kind of party business. But I'm a big man. This is not 
Ramadan, the Arabs who are the blessing, the Arabs who are born. Yeah, see, there are two big houses. A Kanaya, a Gladia, a man, the expert who you give me. The good way we do for the past, how many years? I don't know about the things that are inside politics for me, but at the advantage, I know Boku. If I don't say this, so this group will have for this position at the advantage. And at the advantage, now they don't execute so bad. Now they don't execute so bad. That we, the Muslims, we let Christian. Maybe I don't want to make it for being Christian. You know, for being Muslim. Because what you do, we respect them. We respect them. Now you will see, we are going on the unemployment scale. The people are unemployed. The Muslims are not good. Plenty of the Muslims go to exist right now. Then they left mosque. Then they go to mosque. Then they go to church. They say because they go to church, then they get woke. Yes, yes, yes. Hey. Hey. Be careful. I don't know what I'm asking tomorrow. What is that in Jihad? What is that for this religion? I don't know what I'm asking for a party tomorrow. Are you religion? I will start your religion. I will start your religion. The good way they do not box them, I am trying to have a friend. What is that you are good going to do for Peggy and Jana, for Islam? I don't know what you are doing in the Quran. You Muslim. Anybody that says in the Kalima, La ilaha illallah, Ashayatina Muhammad Rasulullah, and you go now. Anyone that says in the Kalima, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, the Quran don't say that you go now. And the people now. That every Muslim that is comes in our duty now for being the Christian name, that we now are born again. We now is now our sister and born again. So Fambul, um Unadoe from Gentle. Uh, and yesterday we came up with a show, but unfortunately that video they um a know able show up now na YouTube because of certain things. We take them down. Um but this is wrong. I just want Lord, we just share some statistics. Let the people of Salon understand. See, this you not get no no uh, bearing to Muslim. This is not purely political. He say the unemployment. The people who get oh highly unemployed in the country now Muslim there. Yes, because of the percentage. I want to listen. I want to see this. Another quote for another quote. This is not Google. Google. We now this last share and for now. Last year and for now. You see the percentage. I hope say this on my screen. You see? So it won't for let a politician the capital. You see? 78%, 78.5% of the people of Sierra Leone are Muslim. Islam na 78 point. Christianity made up of 20.4%. This are 2020. This are 2020. Uh, statistics are shown as so. So, the point is, these statistics don't point to the majority of the people living in Sierra Leone are Muslims. So definitely, the unemployment will, will great, therefore be high because the majority of the people are not Muslim there. So this, for the gentle go and mocks, you go say, the reason why I make technically not the Christians, yeah, you understand, and then they make Muslims and not they get job. Technically, they, 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 they marginalize uh, the, the Muslims. Eh? Now, this and that, now, now they, now that's what they suggest. But they don't tell me now, you look at the figure 78.5% of the people of Sierra Leone are Muslim. They are practicing Islam. So, therefore, if we check on the employment rate, then they for Boko there. So, what's in the two way gentle they go now, box, they go say the people don't get job now, the country now, Muslim. And now we'll assume, now we'll hypothetically speaking. Gentle become a male. Now that now all Muslim you go to get job. Now all the Muslim they go to get job. It's not just political rants where they just want to distort 
we own, we, we, we value where we all the cherries as Sierra Leoneans and where for the past decades, or if not, if not centuries, they would don't celebrate, we say, salon, we really highly religious tolerance, but are happy where such incredible institutions they come out and, and, and bash them out and warn and say it wrong. Now take uh, the one way pull statement where they come up from, um, uh, Lord, we share this one. Uh, I don't know if you want to see this on my, on my screen. <clears throat> see, I don't label last year. Um, I don't know if you want to see on my screen. Let's check. Yes, you want to see on my screen. So, see, I don't label Congress on pull a press release. Uh, Sludge don't pull a press release. The entire religious council of Salo don't pull a press release. Maybe sometime, let's just see if we go to read them quickly. Now, press release. The attention of the Sierra Leone Labor Congress, SLLC in bracket, is drawn to a viral video on social media in which Mr. Mohamed Janto Kamara, the mayoral aspirant for the Sierra Leone Police and um, Sierra Leone People's Party, SLPP, making incendiary religious and ethnic statements in a mock speech in discord between Muslims and Christians. The Sierra Leone Labor Congress, being the representative of workers in Sierra Leone, abhors short statements in our nascent democracy, especially at a time when the country is about to hold general elections. Short statements must not be made by anyone or a politician seeking political office. Our society has been recognized internationally and has received accolades for being uh, religiously tolerant and cohesive for a very long time. It is on this ideal that our society is built for peace, unity, tolerance, harmony, and togetherness. We therefore call on all political parties and aspirants to abide by the provisions of the political party's code of conduct and to refrain from spewing it, tribalism, religious bigotry, discord, and divide in our society, and more so now that the country is gearing towards holding elections. We therefore call on Mr. Mohamed Gento Kamara to withdraw his statement and apologize to the nation for this, unfor uh, for this unfortunate religious and ethnic statement. Uh, Max K. Conte, Secretary General. So that was uh, the Labour Congress there. They are very plain and strong about that. They want Gento. And maybe we we'll, because we get like four press releases, I'm not going to read them all. Definitely, don't just take the last one at the religious council. Um, let just the religious council. Um, <clears throat> yeah, the entire religious council. So the entire religious council of Sierra Leone. They didn't pull this. This is not yesterday. They pull up. The entire religious council of Sierra Leone, wish to inform the general public that it it has attention. It has, its attention has been drawn to a video make video clip making runs in the social media in which Mr. Mohamed Gentil Kamara, one of the aspirants for the position of the mayor of Freetown Municipality in the upcoming June 24, 23 general elections, made statements against the principles of religious tolerance that we in Sierra Leone have upheld over time. In the clip, it is hard making a statement that the IRCSL consider dangerous and offensive to the religious tolerance that Sierra Leone enjoys. We have listened to the explanation expounded by Mr. Kamara's media team. Unfortunately, it fell for short. It, it fell far short of our expectations, and it fails to bring out the, uh, the dangerous elements combined in his statements. Sierra Leone's development and citizens should therefore elect candidates of their choice. We therefore demand a public withdrawal with apology of those statements by Mr. Muhammad Gentle Kamara himself. Furthermore, we emphasize that religious houses are not platforms for political campaigns. We therefore call on our religious leaders not to encourage short practice in their houses of worship. As representatives of religious camp communities, we deem it our duty to warn prospective candidates of all political parties vying for positions in the June 24 multi tier elections to desist for making short, inflammable statements that will have negative effect on the coercive uh, we so desire in our nation at this point in time. We pray for the continued stability and peace of our beloved Sierra Leone. Long live religious tolerance, long live Sierra Leone. 
All right. So, Fambule, I don't see even the uh, inter-religious council themselves not happy with this statement. And any meaningful Sierra Leonean not for glad with this statement. I see the argument to them put there, say, they're taking words out of context. But people are not stupid. You, This is clear. People are not stupid. This is clear. So, Fambule, and I then um, uh, Tia will get time for. Now we open the line. Uh, we will probably take a few calls. Um, Nadino Manandi, what do you think about this statement that we Gen to make? And what do you think about neck the manipulative uh, uh, um, strategy where they work, where the uh, the uh, the, uh, the, <clears throat> the opposition don't want neck say then for take time. Say alone. I don't know. I don't want to say we're on ticking time bomb. We just therefore be a lot of citizen. So over to you. What thing are you take? You can call me now. You get the platform. Yeah, they see people. Sierra Leone, a country rich in mineral resources and agriculture. The negligence of the government has damaged the economy. While the country is experiencing a constant increase in the prices of household commodities, poverty, inflation, poor education, food shortages, and massive unemployment. Our dear president and his family are spending lavishly on trips that cannot be accounted for with over billions of leons squandered. Our dear president is witch hunting instead of reforming the economy. Our dear first lady is more concerned about her TikTok audience than the Sierra Leonean people. A luxurious lifestyle funded with taxpayers' money. Why millions of youths are roaming the streets unemployed? The first lady's sons keep displaying his privileges. We are concerned that our voices are not heard, that we are getting more poorer that we are losing more jobs and joblessness is rampant, that we cannot afford good meals at a good price. We deserve better economic prosperity, increased standard of living, job security, standard and quality education, to restore faith in our political institutions. Tell us how you did call. If you don't call your name, that's fine. You get the platform. Yes, you get it. Okay, you get the platform. Okay, go ahead, Abdul. Well, you see, uh, um, all the actions in, of this uh, administration are uh, deliberate actions in the name. Any, any statement are uh, deliberate because the president himself I remember, I think it was last year. He did a national radio. Now then he said, you don't see that other one. He did a whole and he did We said, anything we do, we did one um, deliberately. You understand? In Tokam. So, all the actions, all the statements, the way the administration, the altar, not by mistake, not deliberate, because still we don't talk up. You understand? We don't see a video back where he said, in there for become. What's supposed to be able to become? And even in such a thing, the president they pass um, around the country to the preach tribalism. He done in a national radio back. He talks say the Ottoman make no divide. We didn't forget say we get four cardinal points. Every country gets four cardinal points when I'm not south, east, and west. So it don't mean say we be in the west, we be in the that the, the south. So we different. I can migrate and go to the south. Depending if it's comfortable for me. You understand? But with short kind of statement from the president, from him as a leader, they don't make, even if you come on power now, I will fail for my great school uh, in the other part of the country. Because of that kind of statement, I don't make laugh. See, I've hit the people who did the people who did but maybe they will fear me. But hey, the when we dark mass here, the only people who make this area so not drop. Now the we brothers in the southeast, we know they are the city of power because when people are 
as rain the cost of the other country, they don't reach 800,000. I say 800,000 because if you, if one hundred and something hold the power, the seat of power, and the families who they have already enjoy around them, now they are about to multiply the way as if they don't reach 800,000. Because the one way they vote on that country and they are around two point five billion and above. You understand? So the rest of the other people that suffer and they suffer. But this uh neck, this is a key this uh team has wood and set up. But the team would have set up for just re this election, they don't care what of, of men would the cause that are continuing. From the statement of this of this sudden, we are too that one would they return the people because the president did not talk about so every action is taken. You understand? Gentle, I use a user. I use a gentle. You understand? Now, in money, the people are also shock. Now, in my neck, in case you don't know what's in for talk, you don't know what's in for talk, you don't know what's in for talk. 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 Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, thank you very much, Abdul. Yeah, so Fambu, uh, the line open. Somebody said they know they see the uh, they know they see the the number clearly, but now the, the number now plus three eight zero nine seven seven five one eight seven eight six. If you watch down, we also don't put on down so that you will get chance for call and have your say. Lord, take some text here with the kind sire. Yeah? Uh, this one they come out from uh, Samuel Kabia. Will say, "Gentle as only poor is only pro poor is only promoted uh, mayor Aki Soya, even if he had not committed this mess. His chances of becoming a mayor of our country's capital is a dream that will never come true." Now we know they encourage that absolutely, absolutely. This uh, idea beyond. Biona. This one, they come from Aisha uh, Kista. Mohammed, you're doing well. God bless you. God bless you, Aisha. You're welcome. And um, so, um, Fambule, I think we get three more minutes, three more minutes, the program, the dawn, because um, we'll be one, make it just be 40 minutes, but 42 minutes, but we'll spear another three minutes. So if you want to contribute on the program, you get the platform now. Sierra Leone, a country rich in mineral resources and agriculture. The negligence of the government has damaged the economy. Why the country is experiencing a constant increase in the prices of household commodities, poverty, inflation, poor education, food shortages and massive unemployment. Our dear president and his family are spending lavishly on trips that cannot be accounted for with over billions of leons squandered. Our dear president is witch hunting instead of reforming the economy. Our dear first lady is more concerned about her TikTok audience than the Sierra Leonean people. A luxurious lifestyle funded with taxpayers' money why millions of youths are roaming the streets unemployed. The First Lady's sons keep displaying his privileges. We are concerned that our voices are not heard, that we are getting more poorer, that we are losing more jobs and joblessness is rampant, that we cannot afford good meals at a good price. We deserve better economic prosperity, increased standard of living, job security, standard and quality education, to restore faith in our political institutions, it's time for our voices to be heard. Indeed, a new dawn to a great Sierra Leone. Salon Youth Bank is responsible for the content of this message. Yeah, what a succulent message there. Uh, Fambu, this clip I play on back because yesterday, you know, it will go. Uh, I don't know if you were able to contact this person. They are on a listen this. On a listen this. Upper government. We the chief of police for Poloko district. We don't work about we 56. We don't work for two and a half years. They now they know they pay with. For devil money, we they go now. When we ask the CCC, Say, business and go arrange and talk. Say now, 
and not pay with. Maybe my wife, me who they talk to, me na, me na, sergeant. My wife don't left me for lack of no payment. Only no day. Me picking them, day. I get two picking, how they go school. Money no day for pay for them. They're not great pay with. I started in my work. So, I mean, my appointment letter be called for 2000, I mean, three, two and a half years. I don't get no salary. Papa government, wait till do. Wait till happen. Do you have Papa government? Let them pay with before election. We we'll get for vote for them. But if we don't get pay, we don't get nothing. What do they eat? They are Papa government. This now one old power just meet up. He grumble. He talk by himself. You know, say you don't work for two and a half years, no salary, no nothing. But every day in the reports, you know, he do work now for local district as chief of police and all 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 power like this one for work for two years and a half without no salary a really hard trending please we go want for make the help them people there so that they will able to get the small small money waiting they work for please yeah the only uh sorry part of this particular uh clip the possible way if you do this part at least if i don't put a number for there at least anybody who are richer but again somebody goes sabia because some people and they will perhaps they say go and do uh good to her because it's painful we say this even i mean i mean this enough you know, for even work the part on which at retirement age if you do and uh, just because we're not there you know uh, this they talk about poor social service now the country we're not able to take care of our citizens eh? even the old one themselves you know by right now the government's responsibility now for taking care of this person but for this 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 part even as that they got the past they still work probably this part now i don't know in age but i know from the look of things he got on pardon 70 you know so it's so pathetic it's so dangerous um we just they hope for the better now the country so Fambule and I had the program, the tap, we turn up plenty, plenty, thank you. As how they get the information, now so we'll bring account to now. Now stay tuned, Naya. Do you have now you first time this for Kaya? We want for use this opportunity for welcome you. This is now your platform. This is now the platform for all Sierra Unions. Eh? Personalize and take and send your platform. Appreciate and like we page na Facebook, talking point platform, TPP Leo na Facebook na YouTube Naya. And then subscribe, click the notification. Now, one way they promote and keep we alive now uh, the YouTube uh, algorithm. Until then, on a bye bye, we come back with another interesting segment as usual. On a bye bye. Sierra Leone, a country rich in mineral resources and agriculture. The negligence of the government has damaged the economy. Why the country is experiencing a constant increase in the prices of household commodities, poverty, inflation, poor education, food shortages, and massive unemployment. Our dear president and his family are spending lavishly on trips that cannot be accounted for, with over billions of leons squandered. Our dear president is witch hunting instead of reforming the economy. Our dear first lady is more concerned about her TikTok audience than the Sierra Leonean people. A luxurious lifestyle funded with taxpayers' money. Why millions of youths are roaming the streets unemployed? The First Lady's sons keep displaying his privileges. We are concerned that our voices are not heard, that we are getting more poorer, that we are losing more jobs and joblessness is rampant, that we cannot afford good meals at a good price. We deserve better economic prosperity, increased standard of living, job security, standard and quality education. To restore faith in our political institutions, it's time for our voices to be heard. Indeed, a new dawn to a great Sierra Leone. Salon Youth Bank is responsible for the content of this message. Hey, just a second. You
Hey, just a second. You know, say for subscribe now free. Plenty of people already watch here. They know they subscribe because someone fee say for subscribe, they need for pay money. If you not be known for no say for subscribe now free. But why for subscribe? If for subscribe for three main reasons. Number one, you go be the first person we go know whenever we come on live. Number two, you go be the first person we go know whenever we upload new video. And number three, you go be the first person for comments, like or share. And the last one for support we so we go bring kind of content here regularly to you. So you see how it beneficial to you. So if you not don't subscribe it, what you do it? I for subscribe to TPP Leo now. And before I forget, not forget for click the notification bell so you go get all the notification bam. Try for go before I beg go. Do ya not make us slow? No, no. If I try for waste the tempo, do ya not make them low? Yes, so. Before they do them, sing them. Sing now we go make we glad. Sing now we go make we happy. Sing now we go make we country laddy daddy. So we go live in unity. Yes, so we for the do them thing then. Till now we go make we glad. Till now we go make we happy. Till now we go make we country laddy daddy. So we go live in harmony. Yes, so don't we for do them thing then. Till now we go make we smarter. Till now we go make we stronger. Till now we go make we nation last much longer. So we life them go better. Yes, so. Cause we for left then team then Till now we go make we scatter Till now we go bring palava Till now we go make we nation Where Panambara Make we people scatter Skanty they do talk about All right then Team then like half a flavor Plava Political party Wahala Team then we go make we agba Then put we country Pan yakba Sing along say Hey Hey bo bo We want for no We want for no Wait till make we Country they go slow, but you make it all they grow. Yes, so oh, I can for sure. Yes, I can for sure. Then sing them, sing them way they make we know they grow. Then I will that. Yes, so make we show them, sing them. Sing them we go make we kick for. Sing them we go make we country go before. Mama, yes, so sing them we go make we grow. Sing them we go make we left for go slow. Make baby glad if for pop or show. All right, so. So if I perform me on perform, you say for glad if for watch you watch. If I sing me young sing, you say for glad if for dance you dance. Before they do them sing them, sing now we go make we glad. Sing now we go make we happy. Sing now we go make we country laddy daddy. So we go live in unity. Yes so. Before they do them sing them. Sing now we go make we glad. Sing now we go make we happy. Sing now we go make we country laddy daddy. So we go live in harmony. Yes, yeah, so sing along, say hey, 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 bo, bo, we 